Well, the oil price is uh, in the low f sort of $50 a barrel at the moment. Um, it's had a weak start to the year. Um, and so is off, was off in the first quarter around about 5%. But we feel that and we believe that the price of crude will trend higher during 17, narrowing the discount to marginal costs, which is around about $65 a barrel. Um, as we go forward, we're seeing undersupply, and this undersupply will be the real challenge to the market, uh, as opposed to the oversupply we saw in 14 and 15. So as a result um, of the significant cuts in, um, market, mar uh, in market spend, in, in trying to find oil, uh, and produce it. Uh, they cut by about 40 percent since 2014. Um, we believe that this will have a real effect going forward. Uh, actually, to paraphrase the International Energy Agency in their recent report, they were saying that more investment is needed in oil production capacity to avoid the risk of, sharp, of a sharp increase in oil towards the end of sort of uh, 2020, 21, 22. And the market seems remarkably sanguine about this. And what the oil price is going to need to do is to price in ahead of that issue um, a, rash, a, a, a price level that will drive people to produce oil by that time. And it typically takes about four to seven years to produce some of the long cycle oil. So that means that we're going to have to see those sort of levels come in well ahead of that period of time, sort of late towards the uh, 2017, 18, 19, we're going to have to see oil moving towards that $70 a barrel. We think it'll probably finish this year, though, at, uh, around in the, in the 60s, in the low, in, in 60 to 65. Yeah, well, despite the strong growth in US production, the market is on its way to tightening. So market strength will come as the evidence mounts that inventories are being worked lower. Although it is harder to ascertain the state of inventories in non-OECD areas, there is some evidence that these inventories are already markedly lower than the historical norms. Um, OECD are on the cusp of aggressively moving lower during the second half of the year, and we believe that this is the point in the cycle that you should have a decent exposure to the energy market. Well, because of our positive skew on the cycle, on, the, on this part of the cycle, we believe that subsectors with high oil price sensitivity are the way to go. So the downstream space, or the area that was most closely involved, that is most closely involved in the process of extracting the crude, that involves overweighting explorers and producers, drilling companies and those companies that provide the engineers and equipment to extract the oil. So that's the first area we're looking at. The second area we're looking at are the on, is onshore U.S., uh, this is an area of the market that is experiencing, fa experiencing fantastic productivity gains and is the area that will grab some of the market share from international non-OPEC oil, some of the more expensive oils in the market. But thirdly, companies, we believe that looking at companies involved in the need to switch away from coal and into much cleaner sources of energy like gas, particularly liquid natural gas, a source of fuel that is 40% cleaner than coal, is a very exciting, has a, some very exciting prospects over the next five to ten years. And they're finding a much cheaper way to roll out that infrastructure, give, giving greater accessibility to some of the poorer nations and some of the nations challenged with infrastructure problems and power problems in the world at the moment. 